These are, these are the weights, they got roller bearings in them, right? Yeah. So your counterweight, no, I don't, we don't, I don't have a slotted, you know, yeah, you got a slotted one right here, Fit, fits in here. Centrifugal force brings this out, and it's getting pinched between this one and here. When it pinches, it puts pressure on a pressure plate and engages the clutch. Okay, so what RPM does it happen at? 800 RPMs. So right at startup, and they'll stay, you know, if you look in there, it's like a, hate. it's, I, I used to race cars, Chevrolets years ago. Um, when Hayes came out with the drag racing clutch, there's no slip. I mean, you know, it's either in or out. This thing grabs the 800 RPMs and stays engaged until you shut the engine off. Then you, then the prop three wheels down. Hmm. All right, uh, the, the, the biggest, a couple of advantages to that. Number one, we got the polymer and spring, springs, you know, double dampening on the springs here. That helps with the harmonics. Just like it does in your transmission on your car. So you could change the weights then off if you, if you had a different RPM motor or something like that. Well, well you know, on, on, you know, if it you wasn't fire, good enough to well, if, when you fire up your car, okay, it goes vroom like this before the computer says, all right, slow on down. Yeah. Right. So it's automatically. I mean, and the advantage is, is we're saving all kinds, several pounds on the starter. If you look at the starter on this engine, that starter is only that big yeah, around yeah, like that. Yeah. It doesn't. You know, you can pick it up like this. You know, I mean. You know, yeah. I remember the old Chevrolets and Fords like that, man, it was a struggle to get mm -hmm. that starter up in there and get in place. And this thing doesn't weigh nothing, even yeah. even in a, a starter for a Continental. Yeah. Okay? You know, I mean, just just think about that. You're, you're cranking that prop, you know, and trying to get it over, so you have to have a big starter. And what's, what's, the, what's, what's the rule? Uh, 15, 15 blades and you let the starter cool off, right? Because, because it's trying to do that mass. And I fly a, a 56 Cessna 172 straight tail. A little bit of, you know, 300. Four, you know, Continental. You shut that engine down like that, and the wheels jump off the ground with that prop, trying to keep that engine going. It goes, whack, whack. You know, you know, I can't remember what, uh, what these guys call it, but you know, it's, it's hops because that uh, that blade is still trying to turn that engine over. Mm. This, you shut the engine off. I have and inertia. And the blade free, the blade free wheels down. You're not trying. It's not trying to turn them. So. It, you know, it's pretty rough on the airframe when that thing's going bam, bam, bam. Oh, I'd imagine, yeah. You know, it's leaves jumping. You know, you watch some of these guys when they come in and shut these things off. You a lot of times you'll see about three bounces on that wheel. That blade's winding down. Yeah, that's a good wow. Time. I'll look yeah. for that. Yeah. i look for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there are other gearboxes out there, and they work pretty good. Except the only thing I don't like what 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 they're trying to do to handle the harmonics is they got a big rubber biscuit connected to the crankshaft and connected to the gearbox, and that's what they're using to try to dampen it. Yeah. All right. Well, they tried those in boats. They worked great in boats for a while. Yeah. You know, like the old drag boats or something like that, that torque and that prop. You know, but uh, this has been working in working since. Uh, well, that's probably the reason they invented the damn thing, right? We, I mean, Model A's, Model T's had a clutch. You know? Sure, sure. And, uh, and uh, it was more for it, was, it wasn't so you, that you could coast and change gears. It was that for the harmonics between the transmission and the gear. This this handles the harmonics between the blade, the transmission, and the engine. And we got uh, well, the original one had 900 hours on it. Took, took the gearbox apart, and there was no wear inside the gearbox. Show, show us where well, that is. Let's, let's yeah. the video. Okay. I already took a look, but thank you. Thanks, 